Right, your arms look small, mate, in that t-shirt. Your arms looking small today. Your arms looking small, yeah, no problem. I take charge. In the 21st century, a weapon will be invented like no other. Better, stronger, faster. Unstoppable. He has only one purpose. Win fight. Right, yo, I'm here with Tommy Fury. There he is, very handsome man. Thank We're. You. Uh, you supposed to say it back. Sorry, Tom. <laughs> Very big, handsome man. Right. Big. So, we are doing a punch challenge today. We're going to do it a little bit different because every every idiot on YouTube is doing punch challenges. <laughs> but we're going to throw some other stuff in there. We know there's some pub people who have never had a fight in their life who can punch harder than us on these machines. It doesn't always translate. Punching on this doesn't always translate to can you knock someone out in, a, in an actual fight. But. Tommy's got a bit of a, he's recovering from a bit of an injury. So we're gonna throw a left hook in to avoid his injury. And we might do an elbow. We might even, might even do a kick or something like that. We're gonna do best of three. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get the leg that I I think you can, I believe in you. But we're gonna, we're gonna see. So we'll start off with the left hook. Have a couple of warm ups? A couple of warm ups, a couple of warm ups. We'll try for that. Right, who's got a quiz? Oh, scared me. Okay. Left up. Oh, sorry, James. Right. No run up. No run up. None of that. Bang it in. Oh, it's a good one. Warming up, warming up, warming up. Let's have a go. Give it a little twister. Is it, is it where you hit it? What? It's hard. You've got to get out a few goals because it's a bit all over the place. Yeah, I didn't really twist in, just warming it up, warming it up. Right, bit harder. So we got 10 left, yeah? So what's that? Two, three, two, no. Two, I don't four, know. So I'm not doing much. Best of three, Best yeah. of three, this is the first one. <laughs> That's a good shot. Solid, solid. Right, you got to remember pub fighters, these are not big running up shots. Yeah. We're not throwing handbags around here. This nope. is a technical left hook. Nice, so proper short shots. We know you've put a load of cocaine up your nose and took a run up three miles, <laughs> three miles and blasted it and it's higher than that. <laughs> but we're not doing that today. <laughs> oh. Missed it, missed it. Tell you what, you wouldn't like it on the end of the jaw though, would you? I'm a, did he beat me? Yeah. What did you get? 8.30. Did you? Right, I missed it though. I missed that one. Right, came off too early. Okay. That's what we have for next. We're doing the same again. Same again, yeah. same again. Left up, banger. <laughs> oh, good shot, good shot. Oh, oh, he beat his own record. I'm gonna have to up it Every machine's time. different though. They are, they are. I've got 999 before yes. with a right hand, but, but then like, I've got not even 900. That's Another a good thing one. to mention here. We're getting high scores on not even the right hand. Yeah, we're on the left handers. That's a good shot. That's a crunching shot, that. Tommy beating me again. Oh my God. I'm gonna have to up my game for the last one. Yeah. Go on, go on. Okay. Good yours, is it 833 you did? Something like that, I don't know. You are uppercutting it. Sorry? You are uppercutting it. It's a bit, bit of both, isn't it? I'm going to try and go through it this time. Go through it. Oh, that's a shot. Yeah, that's a shot. Do you know what that was? That was a short shot, that. Bit of a, yeah, bit of a twisty, bit of... Yeah. Like you said before, I think I was going up a bit, but yeah. that time... It's all technique, it don't matter. Listen, I've got the, the lowest fight average in the UFC. Hey, so I've, got heavy hands. I've got heavy hands. The man's got but actual facts. It does, that's a fact. That's a, it doesn't matter how, how hard you can punch this, but yeah. it's fun. He's so got right, actual facts. I'm not interested in facts. We still didn't stick him with a left hook, or? Mate, I want to go with an elbow. Elbow, mate. right. You can elbow it this way, or you can go like over the top, or you could you could potentially go that way. See, I was going to do this top. So it just depends on how you want to do it. I was going. I was going to go like this. Is that the that, thing? That's fine. Is that alright? Like with the back of your elbow. I don't know, like just just here, like yeah, form that's that point. Right. 
Mate, right, whatever way you feel comfortable. Okay, you can go first? I'll go first if you want. Right, so we're going to do an elbow this time. We just said any elbow you're comfortable with, doesn't matter, there's a few variations, but I think I'm just going to go there. I reckon elbow's a little bit more difficult, you know. Elbow's a little bit more difficult. I see. I don't it's feel it's, you don't feel like you're getting a good connection on it. I feel like it's a bit more awkward, isn't it's it? It's awkward. Oh, that was a good one. That felt, yeah, you got a lot more impact yeah. on that. Yours was a lot more technical though. Mine wouldn't go anywhere. Mine's a throw away. Yours was like, you like lent into that. That's so. an handbag. Oh. Is that higher than the punch? No, it won't. I'm not being funny here. You get that anywhere on the head area and you're hospitalised. I'm sorry, yeah. Do you know what though? You don't need a big elbow to hurt someone. No. Little one. Little one. That'll do them. Little sneaky one. Do you want to put a nut on it, Tom? What? Do you want to put the nut on it? Last one we'll do. Well, last one. We've got one more on this. Seven, one seven, more on this and then we'll have the nut, yeah? yeah. Oh. Did you beat me? Yeah. Tommy with the, Tommy with the elbows. Oh. Oh, that's it, what's that? I'll get me from. Yeah, I'll get it. Tommy elbows, Fury. Hey, oh, mate, I'm telling you. Slicing and dicing. Last one on the elbows. Let's go. Come on, big man. Oh, God. Nah. Tommy's won that. Bit of a bad connection. Tommy's done me. One, 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 one. Right. Final one. Tommy suggested we go Street Fighter style. Head butt. Big nut coming up. But for anyone out there, might have a good UFC record on that. Yeah. Might be UFC champion. Yeah. Losing record on the streets. Yes. Not, not too good. So, yeah. Yeah. This is not going to be that great. Mate. Right. So what's the, what's the technique? Is this wise, Tom? I don't know. We'll try it. I'm going to try it anyway. It's a bit short for me. So now, the, the different variation of butts, Tom. You go can on. either go bump from the side, bump from the top. I'm not very well bur and burst in head butts, to be honest. I'll, I'll be honest, Tom, I've never I'm threw an headbutt in my I life. I might do a bit. I think I might have done one. I might have done one in my life. So this is going to be... <laughs> I think I should warm my neck up. No, <laughs> oh, that's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> 350 with a butt. I've got oh. a big head. I've got a big head. Some weight behind it. I'm going to launch my head into it. Right, go on, go on. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. Oh, that was bad. It wasn't too bad. Right. I forgot. I, I forgot I fucking shit you his armor. Hope you're enjoying the video with Tommy. But uh, let's get into Ask Tom for this week. Ask Tom, what was his first few styles growing up? First few styles? In terms of what? Just how, how did you style yourself, mate? Were you, a, were you an emo? Were you a... I went through a bit of a, all, all different phases, to be honest. Uh, I think sport, sport is my main style is just like sportswear. Do you think you'll be able to fight John Jones? Because I heard he's retiring after his fight on November the 16th. I don't know. I hope so. Do hope so, but I don't know whether it's going to happen or not. It's not up to me, so I would love that fight. Whether he would love it, I don't know. You'll have to ask John. That's a question for John, not me. When, when you win the heavyweight title outright, would you get a new tattoo to celebrate? If so, what would you get? Uh, I don't know, maybe. Maybe. I mean, I'm always up for a tattoo, obviously, but um, I don't know. I never thought I'd seen that Pereira's got one. I've seen that a couple of other people have got them, I think. I don't know. I, I don't, tattoos aren't something that I think massively about, to be honest. I'll just get something if I feel like it, and if I don't, then I'll just leave it. Thoughts on strength and conditioning in MMA, combat sports? Is it important, or, or can you do away with it? Uh, it's important. It's important. If you want to keep your body healthy, um, and you want to be fit and strong, I would recommend it. But it, uh, if you're doing a sport like MMA, which is very skill-based, first and foremost, your skill, ta your skill training takes priority. And then the other stuff, whatever you're doing, is just stuff to add on to that. It's not, you never replace it with the skill training. What's your favorite submission to hit in the gym? Uh, I like submissions that take up a little amount of energy that you're not gonna lose a position over. So, it's very rarely you'll see me like going for an arm bar or a triangle or something like that. Something that takes a lot of, I'm more of a striker on the ground. I like to hit people on the ground as well. Um, but if there's a submission there, like a straight arm lock, a guillotine, a dash choke, I'll get it, but only if it's there, I'll get it. 
A question for Ash Tom, what sport would you most love to attempt in this series of Test of a Heavyweight Champion? And conversely, which sport would you most apprehensive about trying? Uh, I think I'd like to try, even though I don't know a whole lot about it, but I would like to try American football, because I think, I don't, I don't know, they're just big athletes, aren't they? So I'd like to try that. Uh, something that I would like to try is probably anything that requires a lot of flexibility. Like maybe, uh, saying that I would like to try gymnastics, but I don't know, may, maybe some kind of dance or something like that. Not really for me. I say we're getting you done. No, we're not doing it. Uh, were you sore from rock climbing? Um, would you do it again? My hands were sore. Hands were sore. I actually enjoyed it. And I've got a friend who does rock climbing and stuff. He asked me the same would I do it again. I would definitely do it again. The issue with, that I've got is like, I need my hands. I need them. Like, look, look at my hands now. That's still from a couple of weeks ago from rock climbing. Got a cut here that's gone now. Like, I need my hands to be intact, to be able to punch people and grapple. So uh, I would definitely do it again. It would have to be when I'm not in intense training though. What do you make of the comparison between you and Fedor and how, how do you think a fight between you two would have gone? Um, I didn't know there was a comparison. I, li I like it if there is though. I like that because I'm a big fan of his. Um, it's hard to say, different times, isn't it? Like that, when he was in his prime, it was like 20 years ago or whatever. Like I was 10 years old, 11 years old at the time. So uh, it's hard to say, I think that time moves on. Do you know what I mean? I, don't, I think it's hard to say like, how would uh, Muhammad Ali get on with Anthony Joshua now? Do you know what I mean? It's just different, it's just different. You can't really say that. <laughs> Do you make use of the hawkers or are they just a fashion accessory? The hawkers, I make use of them wear them every day. I've got, them on, I've got them with me right now. I'm going to put them on in a bit, but I do wear them for the gym. I've got three, how many pairs have I got? Three pairs. I've got three pairs of hawkers. Um, so I use them for the gym. I've got just an all day today one and I use a pair for running as well, which I don't run too often. I run a couple of times a week, but I use them for that as well. Uh, have you always wanted to be the best or did you only want that after you saw that you actually had the potential? Always wanted to be the best, always. And final question, uh, what's next for Tom Aspinall going into 2025? Uh, just fighting as much as possible, becoming the uh, undisputed champion and defending it as many times as possible. That's the plan. Hope you enjoyed Ask Tom. Remember, questions in the comments every week. I'm going to be answering as many as possible. That's it for this week. And let's get back to me and Tommy punching stuff. Come on. Ask Tom. Do you want to do a slap, Tom? What do you reckon slap or headbutt? Power slap. Sure one, yeah, power slap. Wait. Fucking yes! <laughs> right, last round. We're gonna try power slap. Now, I've actually been to a power slap event in Vegas. How do you warm up for power slap? What are they doing in the back? How do you warm up for power slap, then? I don't know. It's a lot of fun, you know. So I actually really enjoyed it. It must sting. So it's it's brutal. It's brutal. Would you we, do it? No, they have to offer me a lot of money to yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd do it for a million. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't actually. Mate, take, I've seen some videos on that. And instantly just like... take it back. Instantly take it back. Do you know what they have to do? They have to. They hold a thing behind the back, like a bar thing, so they can't flinch. I couldn't do it. So they just literally. So I actually know the rules as well. I spoke to the referee about it. Papa pa. It has to be palm, so it's not, it's not, you, you can touch with the fingers as well if you want, but it has to be, it can't be like here, because that's yeah. called clubbing. You can't club them, it has to be with the palm. So we're going to try it anyway. Charlie, you were there, weren't you? It was you were brutal. There. You were there, it was horrible, it was horrible. Right, so here we go. Power slap. Bet there's teeth all in the front row. Big shout out power slap, <laughs> try not to hit that bit. <laughs> Felt like some connection on that Oof. though. Mate, Tom, Tom right. Aspinall, power slap jump. Get me in, <laughs> get me in. Right, I'm gonna do my left hand, guys, because obviously the right hand out is out of, out of play. Tom, just say like, just say something up nasty to me, so I can say you don't get to talk to me like that and just slap uh, it. I'm not very good at nasty stuff. Just say like, you got a big nose. Yeah, your, your arms look small, mate, in that t-shirt. Your arms looking small today. Your arms looking small, yeah, no problem. 
I won't bad that. Can't cuss the arms won't out. <laughs> Can't cuss the arms. Arms is too far. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I should should I do a lefty? Yeah, to be fair. I'll do it. We'll yeah. be fair. We'll be fair. We'll do. I'll do a lefty as well. So six nine two, Tommy. Got. Six nine two. Oh, that was oh, that was like a that proper, was decent. That was a bit of a bitch slap, though. That that was like all all hands. Tommy's done me on the slaps. One more each. One more each, and we're over. The decider. This is the decider. We're one one. Hand of God. <coughs> that was a that was a good one. I broke all my arm. Oh my dear God. Oh, I'm in bad pain. Shooting pain. It hurts you. It actually oh. hurts your arm. You're right. Oh, Tommy's done me. Tommy's got a better slap than me. Oh, mate. <laughs> that's not good, that's not good. <laughs> you know what's weird? He beat, he beat me at my thing and I beat him at his thing. <laughs> I beat him at the punches and he beat me at oh, elbows. Oh, God. And in a way, you're both winners. Good day there with Tommy. Good catch up as well. We did actually catch up a couple of months ago. We've seen each other on a train, funny enough. It was yes. good. But uh, good to catch up properly today, mate. It's been a great day. It's been a good day. Good day all around, mate. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks, mate.